Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with another TTM Mail Week recap episode, and just want to thank you for coming by and clicking on this video. Uh, if you are new to the channel or don't even know what TTM is, uh, what it stands for is through the mail, and what I like to do is write to athletes or celebrities and request an autograph, uh, just simply by writing a letter, including a picture or a card, and uh, in a return envelope also addressed uh, with my address and takes two stamps unless you're sending a whole bunch of extra things and a couple extra uh, and you can have a, your very own autograph from almost anybody you'd want so um, I've been doing it now for seven years and it's been a lot of fun and I uh, appreciate you coming and checking this out so uh, first off we do have a pile of mail to get through I have not opened them yet um, figured uh, not last week but the week before uh, we just opened them up live and got my live reaction so I figured I'd do that. The only ones I have opened are these two eBay pickups, uh, which I also do want to give a huge shout out to a YouTube channel I came across recently about a couple weeks ago. It's called The Baseball Historian. Uh, I'm going to link it down below. Um, it'll be the first link you can come across in the description box, and then I'm also going to try and put a card in one of the corners um, that you can click on. Um, so just make sure you have your annotations on. But uh, he's got a really interesting channel. Um, just talking about random things from baseball players or events and does a really good job uh, he's, I think last I looked he was under a thousand subscribers which is absolutely ridiculous why he doesn't have more than that but he could have climbed over that by now um, but uh, he did a story on a pitcher who I've heard the name of but I hadn't really known exactly what he was known for and that was Mo Jabalski and he was nicknamed the baseball prince of pranks and uh, he's from Poland, and he used to love to torment his teammates and the opposition with all kinds of silly pranks, which that is a really good video. Um, I'll definitely link that as well for you guys to go check out. I thought it was really funny, and he did a really good job. So I um, want to thank Baseball Historian for the idea to pick up an, a rookie card and his autograph for the collection. So... Um, Mr. Drabowski is deceased, but I did pick up a 1957 Topps rookie card. I did not pay $15 for it. I think this was $2. So, um, in pretty decent shape for 1957, in my opinion. There's the back in case you're wondering. I guess it used to be $50. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. If you look at his career, he was kind of a would start a little bit, but most for the most part, he came out in relief. And then we did pick up an autograph signed in pen on the 1988 Pacific Legends uh, card. So we have an autograph of Mr. Drabowski and his rookie card. And we have not picked up any vintage baseball cards in quite some time. Um, like solely just seeking them out. So that's kind of cool to add that to the collection. So again, make sure you go uh, check the description or link in one of the cards. So let's go ahead and get started with the TTMs and see what we got. Um, we have one in a smaller envelope and the rest are larger. So like always, we'll start with the cards. This one is from, or was received um, yesterday, 319. I was coming back postmarked from Nashville, Tennessee. And my date is kind of chewed up there, but it looks like 221. This should be potentially a hit the deck return. It is not. Actually, you know what? That might have been sent last year. This, yeah, this was sent in 220s. So this is a 1983 top signed by Sherman Smith from the Seahawks. So I was completely wrong on that one. So that's uh, pretty cool. I that was when I was on my kick of sending to love of the 80 tops um, football cards, and uh, we had some pretty good success. And we're still getting a few in every now and then. So thank you, Mr. Smith. Next up. Coming back postmark from New York, and I got this on 317. This was sent out in February. We'll see who we got. Just make sure there's no notes or anything in there. Okay, so I can't. She doesn't want me to share this one, so I guess uh, if you guys want to see who I got, you'll have to 
message me privately. But, uh, it does look like she doesn't want me to share. Um, so I won't, I won't, uh, reveal that one. That's, I do put my letters, you know, if they don't want me to show that I got a response from them or, um, address or anything like that, I will respect their wishes and not do so. So, um, that one will remain private. But I'm very happy to uh, get that actress. So we'll move on. Um, you got Austin, Texas, Rio Grande District, and um, that was also February of this year. I haven't had anything back from Texas because I haven't really sent too much to Texas. This might have been the only one. This is Mr. Jerry Bostick. He was a, um, involved, I forget what it, what it was in NASA. I'll double check that for you guys real quick. Because I have my Star Tiger pulled up real quick. He was part of the Langley Research Center and a Virginia Aerospace Engineer. And he was also the Flight Dynamics Officer in the Apollo program. So pretty nice, um, technically we got Apollo related NASA return there. So really cool, Mr. Jerry Bostick. So that's cool. Next up is coming back from Santa Ana, California. Again, I got that in 319. This was uh, sent out in February 21. I didn't pick up the mail for about three days because there's just too much snow and cars to get to the mail. So um, these may not necessarily come on Friday, but this is when I grabbed it. We got former Mets third baseman, Mr. Chris Donalds. I don't know if I had any cards of him, so I made some photos and uh, sent him his way. So, pretty cool return. I've never gotten him before. Um, so, a former early 90s uh, Mets prospect. So very cool, Chris Donalds. Moving right along, we got Mr. We got back from Los Angeles, California. Again, 319. Also sent out in 221. And it's going to be uh, actually came back pretty quickly. It is director and producer Richard Donner. Who you can see he worked on the Superman, the original Superman movies, but from the 70s. Uh, he also did the Goonies, and then uh, he's there with. Um, I forget his name, but uh, you know who he is. <laughs> um, that might be Mad Max, but I don't remember. So, very cool. Really, really neat return there. Um, one of those is for uh, autographs for right here. And we got Los Angeles, California again. Also was sent out 221. And this is for the All-American Girls Baseball Collection. I've never gotten her before. This is Miss Maybelle Blair. Doing a nice pose there with the bat. Getting ready to swing. She is, of course, inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, along with all the other ladies from the AAG PBL. And she uh, yeah, just sent her one. I've never, never sent her before, so that was a pretty cool one to be able to still find some uh, ladies from that to send to. Then we got uh, Miami, Florida. Also 221. It's going to be Mr. Mercury War Morris. Uh, he inscribed one to Kim and one to me. Both with the 17 and 0 inscription and his number 22 inscription. And Mercury Morris has a beautiful signature. Been signed for fans for a long time. So uh, I don't know if Kim's already gotten him, but she's a Dolphins fan, so I'm sure, Kim, uh, you'll like that one. So that'll be coming to you in the next package here in probably two or three months as we accumulate stuff. Let me go back out to California. we got Santa Ana, California. Uh, it's coming back from Miss Kathy Thompson, who I'm not familiar with sending to that name. So I just blocked out their address just in case. And then 221. And it's pretty thick, so they included some extras. 
Oh, okay. This is Miss Kathy Marlowe. So, got her on a 4x4. Four four. Um, she's with Andre Philippe in that one. Um, here she is uh, greeting a uh, soldier. This is a, she was a pretty big uh, actress during the early parts of the Korean War and into the 60s, 70s. And then she also signed the RSVP card. She didn't check any of it, but I can still send it to Michael. And then she included this extra uh, sign on both sides. Uh, looks like an original photo, so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, that looks that looks old. So there. Oops. Ah, dropping stuff. That's really neat, Miss Kathy Marlowe. So very, very nice. That was one I was trying to send out um, but my Amazon photo order kept getting cancelled, so I did Snapfish instead. <laughs> then we got uh, Richmond, Virginia. Also February 2021. That's when it was sent out. These have all at least been out for about a month. Uh, I guess, okay, so this apparently is not him. <laughs> uh, we got Daryl Blackstock. Uh, he's currently coaching, but he was a former uh, Ravens uh, linebacker. Um, I thought for sure this was him, because everywhere I could find... Uh, but I guess it's not, so... Uh, I made a mistake, so I apologize, Mr. Blackstock. There was not very many photos I could find for him, so I did my best. Next up, this one's really thick. I'm kind of surprised the post office didn't put an extra cost on this one, but Orlando, Florida. You can see how thick that one is. This was uh, February 21. Feels like a bunch of cardboard. And it is a big sheet of cardboard. So this is a uh, comeback from uh, Winston E. Scott. Um, I don't know if this address will still work, um, but I sent to a college. He's a professor there. But uh, when, again, Winston E. Scott, STS-72 and STS-87. Uh, one of these is for autographs for a cure. So he just wrote a little note um, um, wishing me luck with helping uh, Michael out there. So really cool. Um, thank you, Mr. Scott. And then uh, the cardboard really protected the photos, so really cool. Next up, come back from Phoenix, Arizona. I sent out February 21. So far, they've, except for the very first one, they've all been 221. Uh, I got Mr. Henry Cotto. I've never sent to him before, but I saw he was signing for some people. So we got them both in the Mariners uniform. Now, the one black and white one with uh, Ken Griffey and Edgar Martinez is barely able to, you're barely able to see them, but I just thought that was a way too cool of a photo not to send him. So um, those are some nice, nice uh, returns there from Mr. Cotto. I'm sure I could have pulled out some cards, but uh, sometimes you just got to go with some photos. Then we got West Palm Beach, Florida. Also sent 221. And this is also, well, it's supposed to be for autographs right here, but uh, they are inscribed to me, so unless I can remove it safely, I don't know. Um, NHL Hall of Famer Brad Park, uh, former New York Ranger. Um, I thought this was kind of an awkward photo. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Brad Park. And then these next three are from today. So we got Phoenix, Arizona. Here we changed pace a little bit. This is from July of 2019. So nearly two years on this one. So let's see who it is. Initials are MV. Take some guesses down below in the comments. Don't cheat though. <laughs> let's see. 
Oh, very nice. It is Indianapolis Colts leading, all-time leading scorer, last I heard. Or at least the most accurate kicker in their, their history. One of the two. Uh, Mike Vanderjet. And uh, look, even in his signature, shows a little goal post with the football going through. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's been out for a while. Um, sent to a home address. I don't know if that address is still working anymore. Considering that was almost two years ago. So next up is gonna be Denver, Colorado. Postmark from Denver, Colorado, and that was we're back to February 2021. We got two older returns, and the rest are all newer. It's gonna be another NASA. Now, well, it's Richard Harrison Truly. So he signed. Uh, one color photo and then I kind of my ink messed up on this one but I just thought it looked all right <laughs> I didn't finish printing so um, I guess we'll just hold on to that we'll hold on to the one that did come out as well and I think that one's for Kim Kim or Bruce I sent a, a whole bunch in their name so um, I'll have to double check. And finally, this is an email success. Coming back from, I believe she was 1999, Team USA, women's soccer team member, Brianna Scurry. And uh, what you can do is just write her an email through her uh, fan page. And that's what I did. And she replied immediately saying that she'll send something out. So I don't have too many from... Okay letter opener is not working. I don't have too many from uh, female or male soccer players. So it's always kind of cool to add those. Kind of signatures. Add some more diversity to the collection. So it is a 8x10 signed with number one. Right there. Miranda Scurry. And uh I'll put a link as well to her website if you want to ask permission for one as well. Or if you wanted to, maybe she'll allow you to send. I don't know. But uh, really cool. I'll make sure there's not like a note or something. There's that. So, really neat. And Brianna Scurry. So, not a bad day or week. So, thank you guys for watching. In and out under 20 minutes. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.